put me on the main stage. They gotta wait till I warm up. I don't want to have to deal with the pressure. Well, you, the you man, are. you're up there. You better put on a. I have no problem. I don't like roasting many of our players, but User is definitely one of the guys I will have no problem roasting if he doesn't live up to expectations. We have that type of relationship. Cowboys and Texans, Pizza Hut Stadium. As I mentioned, DC3 is the Cowboys, and B-Tech will start with it first with Deshaun Watson and the rest of the Houston Texans. I think my favorite story for VTech is I remember he made a, an MCS major. I, I believe it was Madden 17. And, you know, he, he's an older guy, a family. He, he worked full time. And I remember him telling the story. Um, he tells his work like, hey, I, I got to go to one of these majors. I, I might be off, you know, for a week or so. And his boss says, all right, uh, Tony, yeah, we'll, we'll look into it to see if you can get your time off. And he tells his boss, this isn't a request. <laughs> I'm going to the tournament. I'm just trying to see if I got a job when I get you back. You asked so. the HR department, what do you want to do with the rest of that information? <laughs> but I'm going. That's how passionate he is about his Madden. True inspiration, like I said, and it's good to see him back he out here. He shows up at a lot of tournaments, even if he's not playing. So, I mean, this is a guy that's just very passionate. Tons of personality. Little quick play here to pick up the first down. So that'll get him a new set of downs here with just about a minute gone by. What a first day we've had here at the Madden NFL 20 Classic here in Arlington, Texas. And, uh, you know, to, to get back to, to VTech, it's just another example, Scott, of how beautiful this is. People from all walks of life. Here's a guy that's, like I said, 35 years old, has a family, you know, has to work uh, full time, and he's still able you know, to balance Madden, play it on a high level. So if you're one of these older guys with a lot of responsibility, use his story as inspiration. Here's Watson. Second and six finds Nuke Hopkins at the 44-yard line. Let's go, Let's go. That'll move the chains. And this Texans, you can see a, this battle a lot between the Cowboys and the Texans. One of the best defenses in Madden, taking on a high potent offense, and there is Johnson Jr. Lamar Miller has sort of got the snub here today when we've seen these Texans. Yeah, we're seeing some Duke Johnson. I, I think it's a situation he's probably the power back by default, so if you don't go ahead and sub in Lamar Miller, uh, you, you might end up with Duke Johnson out there. Well, I, you know, a lot of these guys are running Double halfbacks, and that's a risky throw with Lewis lurking around. You got yourself a big third and three right here. If you're VTech, Electric DC with a chance to stand up for himself right here. Put VTech in an awkward fourth down situation. 2.30 to go here in the first quarter. Not an elimination game. Certainly you want to get that win. Nice cut through, but even a better cut back. And I, I promise you, you'll see that RPO bubble out of that trip's tight end run multiple times in this tournament. It is a very tough play to stop. You have that inside zone that the quarterback can give to uh, to the running back, or you can dump it out to that bubble pass to the slot receiver. And more often than not, they'll get busy if you give it them in space. It's a very, very hard play to stop. You, you usually want to go man to man there. He'll split it in the gun once again. First and 10 from the 27. Promising opening drive. Has space again. And he'll slide down. It'll pick up seven, eight yards. Second and three. Got Tony looking good. Using a lot of clock here in the opening quarter. Here he goes again. B Tech. Wheels it up and throws a low route to Hopkins. Looked like he was going to the halfback wheel, but it was obviously Hopkins working along the sideline. First and goal, here's the hurry up. You see a lot of guys hurry up down here because they know you're sort of in like a passing defense. Can't make the substitution. It's just going to be most likely a power roll off tackle to Duke Johnson. There it is. They go to Johnson, and he'll twist his way to the two-yard line. And that'll allow DC3 to finally get some 
heavy hitters out here. See if he can hold the door. Yeah, VTech is first major. It was back in Madden 17 at the first ever Madden Classic. Wow. Coincidentally. Also made the final four of the Cowboys Club Championship in Madden 19 last year. Yeah, Lamar Miller. Little wink to the <laughs> people at home. I, I can't I can't look at that suit anymore. And, I, and I'm a guy that loves orange. Uh, hey, props to Electric. I mean, that's got to be a little <laughs> frustrating. You're out here. This is all business. It's your moment. You're trying to be very serious. <laughs> Take advantage of it. And then you look over to your left, and you got VTech in the Dumb and Dumber outfit. Talk about mental pretzels. Look like he graduated from Clown College. All right, well, <laughs> this is going to be interesting, Scott. Let's see how Electric responds to that good touchdown drive by VTech. What can he do on offense? Can he keep himself in the ball game? Respond like he needs to. Well, he's certainly got the weapons to do it. Ezekiel Elliott, Amari Cooper, as Prescott goes up under center. Tight ends for days here on first and ten. And he'll go to the air. Scrambles out. He has B. First down. Vitek fortunate right there. It looked like he ran commit by accident. Well, that's the end of one here at Pizza Hut Stadium. VTech seven, DC three, zero points, but this is just his second play of the game. That's how much clock VTech took away in that first quarter. Zeke. I mean, that was an interesting play call. On You come out first down, a three tight end set. You're, you're VTech, you're expecting run. I th think he ran commit, sold out, and Electric just caught him off guard. Little pass play, rollout, big gain. He was lucky it wasn't somebody with wheels. Yeah, yeah, you know, Fribbo. Dropping out to the big fella. Second and nine after the one-yard game by Zeke. Split the gun once again. Prescott sends Austin in motion. Quick pop pass. Tight ends doing work. And, and that shows that, I mean, and last year's Madden, that's an interception, Scott. That linebacker's jumping up there and making that INT, but now in Madden 20, you, you can't get away with, you know, those linebackers taking away the whole middle of the field, and it's really opened up things on the offensive side of the ball for a lot of players, and uh, honestly, I, I think it's been a good thing. It's really making you have to work on defense. Lurking almost became a lost art because it felt like anybody could do it. But now if you want to do it with one of those linebackers, you really, really need to be in perfect position. So many games played today. Action continuing tomorrow. And on through the weekend on Sunday, we'll crown a champ. And there's a big hit. We talked about how important, we got third and 29 coming up, but whoever makes it to the final in the winner's bracket, They'll have to lose twice yeah. to not take home the belt. So staying in that winner's bracket all the way to the end, there's a huge advantage there. Absolutely. You're not lying about that one. Being in that championship game and having a little breathing room, room for error, I mean, that, that's a huge deal. It's going to be a huge advantage for whoever comes out of that winner's bracket. Don't Jason Witten picks up the blitz, and he'll bomb this one out in a one-handed interception by Reed. And this is the trap with the, the Dallas Cowboys, Scott. If you're going to play with the Cowboys, you need to pound the rock relentlessly because if you force them into passing situations and turn it into an air it out, air it out offense, uh, Dak Prescott's just not going to be able to do that for you. There's Watson. He'll take off and smartly slide down a gain of four. Second and six. This is a bit of old head Madden here. Just moving it, matriculating down the field, eating that clock away. And Watson. That's a tough matchup. You got Hopkins and Jones, and Hopkins wins this battle. Well, here's the thing is Jones has the zoned out ability. So he's not going to be a good, not a bad, but his forte isn't man-to-man -man coverage where Hopkins has that post-elite ability. So he's doing what he's really good at. 
And when Jones is in man, that's not his specialty. So Hopkins is going to have the advantage in that situation. Had Jones been in zone, that would have been more of a 50-50 type play. Also has a corner route ability. They, they're one in the same. It's the post flag elite. You get some people have a post ability. There's the out uh, corner route ability. But the best one's the post flag because whether you run a post or a corner route, you're going to get, you know, that elite cut on the you're going to get that elite break on the cut and that increased boost to your catching traffic. Well, three timeouts remaining for both our competitors. Coming up on 96 seconds left in the half. Watson, once again, Nuke Hopkins is putting on a clinic. Tech looking surgical out here right now. That outfit might be a joke, but his game right now is no joke. He's just moving this ball effortlessly. Fox stops, 132 to go here in the half. Watson, quick RPO out to Fuller. The former Fighting Irish will take it down to the half yard line. Second and goal. Those RPOs, Scott, just like they changed the game of real football. This is the first year they've been in Madden NFL football, and they have changed the game drastically. You have to be on the lookout for them. Second touchdown already for Lamar Miller. And that's, I mean, I don't want to bring it up. We know that's one of the things we loved about NCAA football was the ability to run all these kind of different options and see a bunch of different things. You have that sort of flair in Madden 20. So guys like me are like, dude, I'm, I'm all about it. Give me RPOs for days. Got a shout out Anthony White and uh, the software engineer Sid Suresh back there at Tiburon. Did a phenomenal job on that feature. A lot of hard work, a lot of late nights. Huge shout out to those guys. Well, we've had a great day so far. Scott Cole, RG, back with you once again, and we're just getting started. You know, I know we've day played one. a ton of games. This is just day one, and VTech has certainly looked really impressive here in these first couple drives. Let's we'll see if he can stand tall. He has a 14 to nothing lead, and Prescott goes down once again. I'm surprised. Yep, there's the timeout. With the you got Cow to. I'm telling you, this is the risk of playing with the Cowboys. They're a very balanced team because they have good offense and one of the better defenses in the game. But if you aren't running the ball successfully with that offense, it's below mediocre. But he has he given it a chance. I haven't seen a ton of stretch. Not a lot of run. Remember, he's trying to get that one-on-one -on -one with the arm bar. I he has that inside it. zone guru, Scott. You can yeah. run some inside zone with him. Another timeout that's going to bring up a third and nine as VTech will have one timeout remaining, trying to get the ball back with 36 seconds to go I, here I, in the first half. I feel like if you're the Cowboys, Scott, you want to be running about 70 30. I, I know there's no time left in this half, but that, that's an adjustment Electric's going to have to make in the second half. Prescott. Let me get that that's, up. Whoo, you're lucky there, my friend. Timeout. First and 10 at the 28. That was a very risky throw across the body. Yeah, Tony, a little old man stick on that one. A few years ago, he's cutting that off and maybe pick six in it. We, we know what it's like to have some of that old man stick, Scott. Prescott, remember we're going to have highlights from all the other games going on with my man, man James Coe. And that one falls to the turf. It'll bring up second and 10 anything here. I mean, even if you get something to the sideline and catch three before the half, any momentum you can capture back right now, DC3 needs it. Yeah, two possessions is extremely manageable, especially when you got the playmakers on defense that the Cowboys have. You, you got to assume you'll be able to make a play. So I'm with you, Scott. Anything he can do right here to get some momentum. The key is he can't turn the ball over and somehow mess it up and let VTech. Yeah, he can't get down three scores. Ooh, That's a boom. big hit. By J.J. Watt. And he'll use another timeout again, which now you're putting yourself in a situation where VTech can get a stop call timeout. He might get the ball back on either a punt or a turnover on downs. Yeah, he won't have a lot of time to work. But yeah, nonetheless, not where you want to be. There's VTech in that 146. Look for those cor one of those corners to come screaming off that edge on, on the right side of your screen. Here he comes. Prescott. Gets Good it out play. the bounds. That'll pick up the first down. Get out of, get out of bounds. Electric. By the way, how do you think you'd look in that orange tux? Oh, gosh. 
Chad, give me a one if I got her. <laughs> me and Scott got her, rocked the Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber it up. Oh, what? Never mind. We, you, we, can't, you can't put those ideas in producers' up. heads. We will, we will be in it in the next five minutes. I don't want to give them any any ideas back there. Prescott to the edge again. This time he does get wow, out. Wow, that's the huge. Big catch. Now you got to kick it. That was a very fortunate animation to not only hold on to it, but get out of bounds. Big time play by, I believe, Tavon Austin. Yo, VIP, let's kick it. It's up and it's through. 14 to three, at least. DC three getting on the board. Here with two seconds left of the half. VTech's like, yo, it's not halftime yet. Let me run this back. And he can't get out of bounds in time and he'll that's how the first half will come to an end. 14 to three in favor of VTech. Let's check it with James. All right, we'll check in on this game. X Cordy taking on Red Eye G. Red Eye G playing with New England. X Cordy rocking with Dallas. Here is X Cordy on fourth and one. Fourth and one finds Randall Cobb. Cobb to the house. Gets on the board. That would tie the game at 7-7. Seven, seven. And then Red Eye G answering right back. A little bit of poor stick work on the defensive side. It opens the door and a long touchdown for Red Eye G. The score right now, 17 to seven. Red Eye G leads by 10. Scott, RG, take it away. Well, some good games going on all around the building. Here in Texas, good to be back. See the competitors still lurking around, a lot of them Played their games hours ago. They can't get enough. It's like a big family reunion down there on that floor, Scott. You, you can't walk a couple of feet without seeing someone that you recognize, haven't seen for years, dapping them up, giving some hugs, having good conversation. Um, the community really coming together for this one. And it's what it's all about. This tournament has an old school feel to it, and I love it. Two questions. They asked how you been and did you win? <laughs> those, are, those are the two. What team are you playing with? Yeah, what team are you using? Well, this is a big drive for DC3. Almost feels like it's you got to get some sort of points. Remember, even a field goal here, it's a one-score game again. Uh, if, if you're electric, you were fortunate at the end of that half to get yourself some points. You need to capitalize on that momentum and put some pressure on VTech. This is a huge drive for him, probably the biggest drive of his Madden career thus far. Motion across the formation here on first and 10. He will go straight up. There the he goes. There is Zeke. Can he get on his horse? 40, 30. 20, he's trying to weave his way to the end zone, and he will! Touchdown, DC3! Taking off here in this second half. Look at Electric, it looks like Zeke had found the leak in the defense. Now the orange suit. He just kept Doesn't running. Seem like a great idea. He's going for two, he's trying to make it a three point game, they give it to Zeke, and oh! he can take it back the other way. What a stop, what a hit. So you stand up for yourself and punch someone in the mouth in the virtual gridiron. DC3 is going to be talking about that two-point conversion for years. I, mean, I was right there, man. I just scored on a long touchdown. I had him. I'm loving it. A lot of Madden. And here's that leak I was telling you about in the defense. Zeke finds it, and he's on his horse. Look at this wiggle. I thought they might catch him, but yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Puts Roby in a little bit of a ground swerve. What a way to open up this second half. And all of a sudden, we got ourselves ball game. I'm not sure. I mean, hindsight's 2020, but hey, you, you kick the extra point. You hold VTech to a field goal. I mean, you're in, you're in good spot. I, I get it. Trying to capture some momentum, make it a field goal game. Miller, no sir, denied. Third and one. And when you see that, you know, that split back, that split close gun formation, you know the, the primary runs, that power O that's going to go to the strong side of that formation. Uh, most playbooks, that's the only run in that formation. So if you're keen to that, you know what to prepare for. Going again. This time Miller will pick up the first down, still on his feet, falls forward to the 39-yard line, seven carries for 18 yards, but he does have two touchdowns. 
Yeah, T's look, Vitex look good on offense. He, he's running the ball well. He's throwing dots when he needs to. He's scrambling with Watson. Lamar, get out to the 43. It's going to make it a second and seven. Vitek, one of the many Texans we have playing in this tournament. Short drive up here to Arlington. He's probably going to inside zone this again. Goes right back to it. This time it's Duke Johnson from the U. Four yards shy of midfield. That's going to bring up a third and three. Really needs to get right to the 50. He's at the 46 and a half. Split back once again. Let's see if he goes to the air. I think he's going to air it out on this one. Has a clean pocket. Steps, throws. Oh, bad Jones, read. He's got it's a it. Tip drill. Woods comes up with it. Xavier in the right spot at the right time, and DC 3's in business. Oh, man. VTech goes to the air, throws it into traffic, and electric, like you said, Scott, back in business. The power's back on. But here he goes slanging on first down. I Gets don't like seek, it. Though. That's not a bad place Damn. to have it. A little stop and go, and he'll get out of bounds at the 44. Here is a Snickers replay once again, intercepted. Yeah, that B route underneath, just eyes glued on Will Fuller. Costly read, and here comes Zeke. Zeke Elliott coming alive. Here in the second half, and he'll go no huddle. Uh, and look at that right side of your screen right now, Scott. The body language of Electric. He looks a lot more positive than, than Tony. VTech, he's looking a little discouraged right now. Even in that orange suit. Electric, he's got that four. eye. He, he, eye of the tiger right now. It's kind of like the movie Step Brothers when they wear the tuxedos for the job interview. That's 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 the world VTech's in right now. Wow. Strong. All of a sudden, the orange suit seems pretty messed up. 14 to 9. DC3 on the drive inside the red zone now. First and 10 for the young fella. All of a sudden, that two point conversion was huge, Scott. Off to Zeke. Good defense. Good Shakes defense. off one. And he's actually going to lose a yard. And for the, that's a good example right there of high-level run defense that you see from high-level competitors. Whenever you can just shoot one of those gaps and manually make the tackle in the backfield, that's the best kind of run defense. Good job by VTech right there. This he lost half a yard. Mark it at the 18 and a half. They go to Zeke. And that time, able to box it up. Third and 11 and coming. He fumbled pretty much almost breaking the plane on the two-point conversion. Or he'd be thinking about kicking a field goal here. Throw your fours up in the chat. Five minutes left in this one. VTech trying to hold on. And the most exciting moment we've had all day long, the pause screen. As we start this final five minutes. I don't know if somebody's messing with the playlist or they just need a moment, need a breather. But we got five minutes left in this one. You can see the most popular teams used so far in Madden NFL 20. You can see the Cowboys on top, Texans just out of the top five at number seven. You talked about the balance attack of the Cowboys. And then, of course, everybody's high on the Browns right now. That's my that's my squad. If I, if I, if I was out here, Looking to get blown out in this tournament like I would. <laughs> I, I'd be rocking with them brownies. You see those top three teams making up for nearly 25%. Od Odell's, uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen the Browns. I'm telling you, Odell with that jukebox and that grab and go. You got Nick Chubb with the arm bar. Miles Garrett, they're, they're pretty stacked. And that is a laser beam that falls to the ground. It's going to bring up fourth and 11. And again, that two-point conversion, Scott, the difference right now between Electric being down and it being a tie ball game. I don't, I don't even think it's worth going for the blocks anymore. I mean, the chance of someone running a fake field goal is also extremely low. I wonder if we'll see a fake field goal before the end. I don't know. Certain things, just because they 
might work online <laughs> from time to time. Does it mean it works? I just don't think it's worth the risk going for the blocked field goal anymore with the accurate kick. Yeah. I mean, if it's a long one and you need it, you got to have it, why not? You know? What Scott's referring to, for those that don't know, is if you're kicking a field goal in Madden 20, as long as you get your kick meter in that accuracy bar, it's going to eliminate any chance you have for your kick to be blocked. So most players are pretty good with that accuracy. So block kicks should be a lot more rare in Madden 20 in competitive play than we've seen in the past. Watson. I think I've only had one. I've seen them happen. I had a guy come right up the middle on me. And you know what? When they happen nowadays, I don't even feel bad for you because if <laughs> you can't kick the ball accurately. It was a 57-yarder. Back off, RG. Hey, <laughs> Just trying to make things happen. All I'm saying, man, all we're asking is you get it in that little accuracy meter. If you can't do that, you don't got much to complain about, in my opinion. Out to the 27-yard line. This is a huge drive with 4.25 to go. VTech trying to close it out, even a field goal. Give him some sort of huge. insurance. This is huge. Watson. Nothing's open. Looking. Nothing's open. And he's going to force oh! it in there. And it's picked up by Jones. It's the X Factor. Oh, my goodness. Another turnover. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the look. I mean, he looks like a presidential candidate for... 1896, that long beard. You talk about VTech? I'm talking about look at the look <laughs> on electric DC3. I mean, this is a young man. He's bobbing his head. He looks focused. And he's out here trying to make a name for himself, going up against a seasoned veteran. And we talked about it all day long. This is what the Madden Class 6 is about. You're going to have a chance to make a moment and take advantage of an opportunity. And we're seeing electric trying to do it right now. Well, he's got to even try to get in field goal range here. Here's another look at that pick presented by his Snickers. Look at this defense. Good man-to-man -man coverage. Has to spy out there on Watson. Doubled Hopkins. That's just good defense. Third and nine. Witten in motion. High snap. Delay. Zeke will get. The first down at the 27. What a play call. 11 carries for 107 yards and a touchdown. And now you start thinking about winning the game. You start touchdown working this clock. Touchdown would make it. No, no, no. Touchdown, not enough. I was told there would be no math. And they hand it off to Zeke Elliott. To the 22, and now timeouts start to become a factor. The good news is if you're Tony, regardless, if you're VTech, regardless of what happens here, it'll be a one possession ball game if you get the ball back. You Second and six. Remember, 40 second play clock. So, successful play here. It stays in bounds. We'll keep that clock on the move. Let's see how Electric manages this clock. You almost want to run it just to ensure you get to that two-minute warning, yep. And Zeke, We've got a baby stiff arm in there. And it'll be third and five on the other side of the two-minute warning. This is big. This is going to be a huge play right here for your electric, Scott. If he can pick up this first down, he's going to be able to start digging into some of VTech's timeouts. This is low-key a huge, huge third down and five play right here. What do you got, chat? Does he get it? Give me a one. Does VTech stand up for himself? Give me a two. And it's an awkward yardage defensively. He'll bring his safeties up. Third and five. They're split again. He will hand it off to Zeke. And he will get the first down at the 16-yard line. And now VTech's got to start thinking about timeouts. It's a 40-second play clock. Why, why you quick snap? What are we doing here? I mean, it's a touchdown, and I'm happy for him. But every, you know, yikes. I, I, if you're VTech, you know, you're a little upset, but you're a little relieved, because now here you go. You got the ball in your hands, on the money drive, with a chance to win the game. Going for two. You can't ask for much more for that than that. Prescott. And it'll be picked off by Cunningham. He, can he take might take back. it all the way he'll back. He can take it a field goal. This is back. 
This is huge! This could be worth two. Cunningham doesn't Tape have the gas. Oh, boy. Wow! The two-point conversions I'm have been terrible for Electric. I'm not saying he sold the game, but he certainly has listed it on eBay. Oh, man, look at him, though. Kind of gives himself a nod, knows he messed up. Now you got to play the defense of your life. What a ball game. Wow. Good Cunningham work. Cunningham jumps her out. That's a huge alert. VTech controlled that linebacker from start to finish. That was all VTech on that play. Good Snickers replay there. And now we got 92 seconds. He's got all his timeouts. Bread drive time. Play. And what Will play. Fuller is already in field goal range. That is huge. And now if you're electric, you're going to have to start thinking about using your timeouts. But then the question is, you'll likely want to save one of those timeouts so you can try to ice VTech on the game winning field goal. What a oh, hit! And it's oh my goodness, what a hit! Scooped it up! What a hit! What's defense? Punches Zeke in the mouth! Punches Lamar in the mouth! When it all counts! Eighteen sixteen timeout after the kneel. One oh one to go. Electric DC three gives us a game to remember and comes up huge. I think he did the math and realized, all right, I need to run some plays here. Here's a timeout. Fifty eight seconds now. Yeah, VTech could get this ball back with about. 50 seconds. I think he was coming out to deal and just said, all right, I'm going to use the timeout because I I, this, I got to try to draw some of these plays out. And this is where that return becomes huge because I would be nervous for VTech about getting a touchdown in 50 seconds, no timeout. But a field goal is completely manageable for him, Scott, especially with that high-powered Texans offense. This is intense. Third and 15, one timeout remaining. No GGs in the chat. This is where you find out, are you grizzly or not? Prescott in the gun. First down would win the game, RG. It's like Electric's going to try to pass. He, this might be bluff. He's, he's got to let go of it. He finds Cobb, and now he's going to have a fourth and short. Timeout. It's actually going to be four yards. You got to punt it away. You have to punt this ball. And you know what? Uh, picking up those extra yards helps you out a little bit because it's just going to allow you to pin VTech a little further back. Oh, my goodness. Is he going for this? Is he going for the gusto? This could be bluff. Fourth and four. There's no aggressive pass rush. You can't get anybody to jump. Oh, goodness. Fourth and four. Here we go. I don't know. First down is what he needs. Is he going to hike this ball? He's trying to win it right here. Play clock running down. This is insane. He'll snap it. Looking. Looking. And a one-handed grab yes! first down. The veteran. Jason Wynn, the former volunteer. <laughs> and Monday Night Football analyst. Wins the game for that young fella right there, DC3. Oh, did you see that look VTech gave him? Like, you <laughs> threw that, but VTech keeps it's it all down. Classy. Why not? You have to. You have to let it go yeah, on fourth yeah. down. That's the right thing to do. Fumble and they gave And the Witten made oh. a huge play. What a ball game. Well, what a suit. This game could have been over nine different times. We had two two point conversions that didn't make it, one turned into a two point conversion the for other. the other team.